guaranteed to last for five minutes. Okay, today I'm gonna take and clean this mess out right here. Look at this. Look how bad this is. It's like it's uh, neglected my truck. So I guess we'll take and clean all the oil out of everywhere and uh, we'll take and clean power steering off. I got a transmission line. I've got to flush the uh, oil cooler on this one. Aftermarket radiator, so I can do it. I hope. If not, I'll replace the radiator. We'll see what comes out of it. Um, it looks like in the front end I've got to rebuild, so I might as well unbolt it while it's right there. Make the motor easier to get in. I mean, why not, right? We'll get this all cleaned out in here and see what parts we need, don't need. Uh, we gotta get a new water pump, a bunch of stuff, cause you know what? She's set long enough, I'm putting the motor in it. I found the right price and the right miles. I didn't want just any motor, so at least get a low mileage one, right? Why not? But I don't wanna go too much, cause you know, it's an old 08. I still want to drive it one day. So let's get on and get cleaned. Well, before we get too carried away on this thing, let me take and see what's actually bad. So I need oil cooler lines, exhaust manifold gaskets, and then we got to clean the exhaust out. So let's wash her. I'll get all the parts out. Too dark for sunglasses. And too bright for regular, so let's get the old bifocal thingies on. There we go. Well, got her all cleaned up. Check it out. Parts are shiny. I was able to save my air filter with all the oil that went through that thing. So that's going to be able to reclaim, but look at this. Oh, I forgot that piece. Look at all that crap. <laughs> she was pretty, pretty filthy in there. And it looks like I need just a little bit more right there on the mount, but yeah, clean all the junk out and prepare for the new donor. So, all right, that's one more thing ready. I got to go get some parts, some seals, crank seal, some gaskets, oil, oil lines. So we'll get this thing rolling and uh, yeah, that's all I can do on it right now. I'm waiting for the parts. So I'll go get a list of parts and uh, as soon as the motor shows, we'll shove her in. Yeah, I, I want this truck back. Mainly just because it's easy. A uh, simple truck that you can just crank and go. I mean, that's all I'm gonna do to it, put it back. I mean, if I get a different one, maybe later we'll do some things to it because I kind of like the all-wheel drive factor. I can lower it back down. I get the Dodge transmission going, yeah. Then see this can go back squat. I call it city truck, but I mean, everything has its purpose. That's how you can get a Jeep. That's how you can get a truck four by, you can get a cruiser truck, you can get a low rider. You can just keep doing it. So, I mean, everything has its purpose. That's what I meant, sorry. I went off for a minute there. Anyway, back to something else. Right. We've got a little side project here. I was using the bucket on the Bobcat, noticed the whole end is cracked out. So, we're gonna take and just uh, weld it up, so. We'll see if we can get her to get her to work. You use it, they wear out. Went down and found me a piece of steel, little corner. I'm gonna take and put that right there in the corners. Little. It'll help wear a little bit, so we'll just cut it in half, weld it in. Cut 
Okay, we got this all done. It looks bad. There was a big hole right there. It was kind of corroded out. So once I started welding it, it just fell through. So, but we got some corner pieces. That should that should wear my uh, evening plate out for a while. And uh, now we're doing something else. It makes me look short. Then I look tall. Yeah. I'm just an idiot. Anywho. Here's the motor. We're gonna pull the plugs out. See what they look inside. See if I even want this. Ah, it did. It came from Wisconsin. So, no wonder it's all rusted up. See that? It's just corroded looking. We'll pull some plugs. A couple of them are broke. Holy. Look at that rust. Holy crud. Look at that. I don't know if I want this motor. It's got a couple bad plugs. Here's all the plugs I just pulled out. That one's got build up on it right there. And that one is burning too much. So we need to check that one and that one. Depstick, they send us the DS650. So let's take and uh, see what it does. So I think you just press that. And we'll show you the video. Oh, see that looks pretty good in there. Yeah, see? Looks better than mine did before. But all in all, that looks pretty good. And that's the one with the junk on it. So I'll take and uh, show you this footage from the camera side. that's that we found some uh, rust in number four cylinder so I got on the phone with these guys they're gonna see if they can get me another motor here and we'll go from that route but Depstick saved my life this time so we'll try another one keep going so I'll leave the link in the description here so if you want to check them out today I'm gonna work on Nats just got a drive line and front brakes I gotta do so I'll bust that out real quick all right got back from getting some parts finally took all day to get parts but that's how it takes at least we had them today so I'm gonna see if I can get this joint apart it's got the drive line out obviously it's bad rattling back and forth so we got a kit for it so let's take the kit apart and we'll see what we got press the end of this off well air hammer beat it with a hammer check it out look at all that rust i hear nothing <laughs> all right we'll put the clip on that and then this simple see that little clip right there kind of hard to tell take that clip off whole thing slides off Put a new boot on it, grease it back up, put it together. So, simple, easy, you know, simple, easy, $200. So, always money. That looks good in there, right? Sorry, I had to turn the air off. My uh, 
compressor. A little noisy. Pretty rusted. Let's get her all cleaned up, make it look nice. Guess I'm gonna have to build a bench for this vise. I mean, it's kind of coming apart. <laughs> all right, let's get a clamp on it. There should be all the parts here. All right, slide this sucker back down over. Let's get some uh, penetrating oil. Perfect. All right, joint. Looks like the big groove goes on the inside. Okay. Boom. Clip. Garbage, garbage. Came with some new bolts, which suck. Gotta have a new clip. I wonder if I can reuse this clamp. I'm gonna try because I like these better. I'm gonna bend this one out, so it'll take me a minute. I'll bend it out and then I'll reuse it and clamp it. So, all right, I just kind of opened the clamp up on this one. So I'm gonna reuse this one. I like these. They grip a little better, I, I believe. My opinion. Everyone's got an opinion. Right or wrong, still the opinion. They sent gaskets. I almost forgot them. That looks stupid as all get out. And that looks like a mess. So we'll monkey with these and get these in there. Of course, now that I pushed it on, it probably won't come off. Oh, yeah. Not sure what that was. There's stuff falling everywhere. Just don't worry about it. You just don't worry about it. It'll be all right. Okay, let's bolt this sucker back in. Guaranteed to last for five minutes. Tail light warranty. Yay, let's put her back in the hole here. Assemble. And then I shouldn't make any more noise on this part of it. I don't know about the rest of the stuff. Looks like there's still an axle seal we gotta do. So I'm gonna have to tear this front end down, it looks like. That's on the list for another day. If it's still leaking, that means it's good, right? Because it's got oil. If it quits leaking, then we got a problem. Ah. Don't do that. <laughs> Thought I rounded the bolt out. No. See that? My thin wall is a lot thinner now. New socket. Warranty! Alright, I just got my impact socket. Since the, my chrome one decided to give up on me. We have a happy drive line. Let's do some brakes. Well, let's see what the brakes look like. They were down a ways. Oh, holy Toledo's. Impact. All right, push the... There we go. So I was taking and pitching the caliper to push the pistons in. Because if you just force them off, you'll bust these. I mean, the brakes aren't all the way gone, but pretty close. A little. We got a lot of rust. Yeah, these these brakes are pretty much gone. Still a little buffing. Yep, there it went. And the reason you want to kind of deglaze them is so that pad has something to attach to. I mean, they're not real grooved, so I'm not changing them. Perfectly perfect for me. Let's make sure that we got the right brake pads. I don't even know where they are. Let me go find them. 
No difference in the thickness, right? That'll be all right. Now these look all the same. Perfect. Couldn't find my screwdriver, so I had to use this cheap snap-on one. You want to clean all these off really good because that's what the pad slides on. Just like so. Now for the part everyone's going to hate. Pushing the piston back in so that it can accept the uh, pads. I used to take and crack the bleeder on these. And you'd bleed them out when you push this in and it cycles the fluid. But when you get these old pieces of crap, the bleeders are always froze up. I just don't care. ABS stuff, you probably want to crack the bleeder or you'll mess up ABS, then you have to re-bleed it. It's just pain in the butt. Don't do what I'm doing or do whatever. And we'll see if somebody filled up the brake fluid because it'll piss out the top of the cap. Then the last thing, I'm gonna make sure this grease good. Um, I usually put uh, seal glide in it, but I can't seem to find mine, so I'll find something. Don't know what. You gotta make sure these pins slide easy and then put it back together. So I'll go find some grease. Couldn't find my uh, seal glide, so I just use grease. Looks like right there. And just so I don't blow out all the brake fluid, I'm going to pump this side up. Then I'll do the other side. Because it's probably been filled up and I don't want to make a mess. Tire on, next side. Just like new. Except for the part where it's old. So now we'll do this other side. And we've lost the sun, so we better hurry. Should have been down working on the shop today. Like any dad would do when their daughter's cars broke down. You fix it. It's like the tire is still just barely rubbing from our our lift kit. Yeah, it'll be all right. What could go wrong? The pins weren't messed up, so that's good. Yeah, see this side's gone. Pins are not lubricated, so it's wearing uneven. Looks fine to me. Push caliper in. You know it's funny, because I actually have the correct brake tool for this. You stick in there and it pushes it in. But I like this clamp better. Works easy. Put this out of the way so we can do our surfacing of the rotor. <laughs> this one's got a little more grooves in it on the other side. But if I'd have brought, bought the different pads, they usually come with these little things. But I did cheat because mainly it's, it's a Jeep. One more reason I like the cheaper pads is they have a little bit more of a bite, I found. They wear in easier. Yeah, I don't all rusted up. I mean, I could stick a little slide on these, but there's no point. I did it on the other one, but I didn't tell you. Make sure you knock when you knock the pads in. Sometimes these little uh, anti squeal clips, vibration clips, whatever you want to call them, they'll hit the rotor. See that little bar right in there? It's touching. That one isn't. We'll bend it up with a screwdriver. We're back together. Oh, almost forgot the grease. Oh, yeah, that one's, that one's a little tight. Ugh. Guaranteed to work. Unless it stops working. All right, let's give it a little pump on the brake. Then we'll put the wheel back on and we'll go seat the brake. Need you guys to tell me what was on the uh, what was on the rotor, on the lug nut, or on the stud. I don't know. I'll have to see what it is. It's a factory assembly line thing. Take a look and see. Guaranteed 110 foot pounds. <coughs> Sounds good to me. I don't care. <laughs> All right, the last part of it you always want to do lift the hood. Make sure you didn't blow your cap off. Double check your level. Because if you're pressing the calipers back up through, 
you can blow that cap off and it'll blow fluid everywhere so just check it not that hard looks like i need to add some coolant i'll do that and test drive it's so quiet in here i'm not used to quiet vehicles because i drive old stuff and that's what it's about anyway test drive nice and quiet on the drive line i like that now we need to do a couple good brake stomps get those brakes seated in Okay, we've got them warmed up. Now we let them let them kind of cool for a minute and drive. And then you stomp them again, and they actually feel pretty good. So yeah, I think we're pretty much done. So I'll finish out this little test drive, breaking them in, and I'll let you know. That's diag and repair. <laughs> That's funny. I keep watching check engine Chuck. So sorry. I love you guys. Anyway, we got this all done, and I'm going to give it back to her. She let me drive it for five minutes to fix it, but that's what it's all about. Anyway, you always check, make sure you have no leaks. And look, Natty smashed a snake and didn't even know it. If I showed that to her, she'd freak out. Anyway, no leaks. Everything looks good. Now we're done. Good morning, everybody. Uh, it's been a very long weekend. Just got back from camping yesterday. We got our blades grinded down and sanded down so they're a little shiny, but they're not quite sharp yet. So we're going to take a whetstone to them, but before that, we're going to make some handles. I got some paracord here, because I'm lazy and I don't want to make a wooden handle, so I'm just going to paracord it. So let's do it. I got her to the end of the rope, so now... I need to cut it and mold it. Cut off this fluff top right here. But then I got my handle. Boom. That's how you do her. All right, finish up my paracordin job. I say it's a pretty good handle, but knife is complete. At least for now, I'll do some upgrades to it later. And I have not found my whetstone yet, so I can't really get her sharp. But this is more like machete, so you kind of just... But other than that, we're done for today. So we're going to clean up and decompress. So Morning, folks. So I have my buddy over here, and he's got a broken mirror. And I won't say who broke it, because it may or may not have been me. But it's broke. But in the bed here, we got a new mirror for him. So we're going to be doing a little repair here. And we'll see if we can get it in there in one piece so let's get after it dude why does it take so long to hook her i could have had my oh, entire transmission yeah that's because i just threw it apart one down bro you've been there for 10 okay we could have rebuilt a transmission Finn, you don't even know how to take out a transmission yeah i do yeah you add screw all the bolts and then you take it out <laughs> what bolts why don't we just take off the door panel 
because the less work I have to yeah, do, the better. If you can just unscrew one part and still be able to do it, okay. why not? I feel like this is just more work. It's not. Oh, I could have done that. Yeah, you could have, but you did it. Sure. <laughs> Okay. Premium. So look, there's the new one. Here, no, nah, I'll hold this one up. And then there's the old one. <laughs> it looks brand new. Yeah, brand, <laughs> brand new. Skidoosh. Just gotta pull this one up. <laughs> oh, shoot, that's bright. Okay. <laughs> but anyway, there's the before and after. Jousting. Now we just gotta throw her in there. Yeah. So. It's so nice having a mirror back. I can see. <laughs> Job well done. Well done. A right. couple of bolts lost in the process. <laughs> we'll be all right. But that's all we have for um, my buddy's truck. And now it's time to move on to another project. So let's get after it. Okay, we got all our projects done. Yep. Except for a motor. I don't have a motor yet. See that? Bad. So waiting for another one. But Oker got his done. Yeah, my fuel pump was bad, and I got it taken care of. But and it's running better? It's running way better. I mean, nice. it even runs cleaner. Ooh, it's clean. the exhaust. Well, until we get some more parts, on to the next one. So, appreciate it, and thanks, thanks for, for watching. watching.